My mother was a nurse, so growing up I remember uh, listening to all kinds of exciting stories and experiences that she'd have. And so th that kind of stuck with me uh, through childhood. And as I got older, I liked the idea of working in, in an ER setting and, and the excitement that came along with that, as well as uh, being able to help people uh, while doing your job. Uh, right now, I am an emergency department nurse at uh, Dell Children's Hospital. As a Jonas Nurse Leader Scholar, I will be continuing on uh, with my PhD studies here at the University of Texas at Austin. My experience here at UT has been very rewarding and, and I look forward to the next few years. My ultimate goals are to improve the way we deliver healthcare and the quality and, and the efficiency through research that focuses on the leadership behaviors of the frontline nurses, the nurses that are providing the direct patient care needs that spend the most time with patients. You know, I produced my first DVD when I was 11 years old, and that was about prevention and eating healthy and exercising. And I distributed that to students, elementary kids, and all the money that came in, around like $2,000, was all donated to the American Diabetes Association. I have been the executive producer of Good Morning Texas for three years. Putting 1,000 plus hours and hard work, you know, on the show, you know, has brought me to where I am today. It's provided both me and many students the opportunity to realize and feel what an actual newsroom and real-time news is like. Not only have I seen the show grow, but I've seen myself grow. That success I have to owe to this institution, UT. When I was 14 years old, I entered a lecture hall here at the University of Texas, and now I'm 17 and I'm graduating with a bio degree, pre-med, and broadcast journalism. Having both degrees, I'm able to talk not only in general reporting, but I can, you know, expand out into science-related fields. What's next for me? I am going to pursue my master's in broadcast television at uh, Columbia University. I wanted to have a really um, spirited university experience, and uh, so when I came here, uh, it was kind of just another perk that I had a great pre-medical program. Freshman year, I had uh, Dr. Ruth Buskirk as my biology professor, and this woman absolutely single-handedly made me fall in love with biology. Just her enthusiasm, you know, genetics and the next uh, upper division courses were kind of a breeze because it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed studying, and I think I can attribute that to her. Freshman year, I became involved in an organization called Multicultural Students in Natural Sciences. And by my sophomore year, I was president. Now that I'm looking to the next chapter of my life, I'm not forgetting that there are people who are four years behind me who want to do what I've I'm doing and going to medical school next year. So that's what I really enjoy doing, the informal mentorship. What's next for me is medical school, and I hope to focus on disparities in medicine. Regardless of what specialty I choose, I definitely want to work in underserved areas and with people that don't readily have access to good medicine. Before coming to the LBJ School of Public Affairs, I was a design engineer for Texas Instruments, working on system on chip design. My background, my technical background is in the field of electronics and electrical engineering. I did my undergraduate studies in electronics engineering. I did my master's in electrical engineering from the University of Texas at Austin. At the LBJ School, I'm a master's student in the Global Policy Studies program. I'm focusing on international development and specifically on policy making in South Asia. As I move ahead, I want to understand how technology plays a role in understanding public service delivery, understanding different perceptions of uh, how governance works. Building better public health systems uh, is crucial towards achieving better international development. As I move forward, I have taken up a research associate position with Poverty Action Lab, which is a group based out of MIT. And growing up in India, you generally see Poverty is an evident phenomenon. You see it all around you. And it naturally leads to questions in your mind about what can be done to change the, change the situations around you. So in, in that context, it seems as if things are coming full, full circle. I'm going back to the place I started. 
going back to the place where all the questions in my mind originated. I decided to go into biomedical engineering for kind of a personal reason. Uh, I knew I really liked math and science in high school, so I knew I definitely wanted to do something technical. But then my senior year of high school, my dad was diagnosed with advanced renal cell carcinoma, which is a type of kidney cancer. So I couldn't really think of a better way to apply my talents in math and science in a way that would help people like my dad. The education I've received at UT has been amazing. I know. Um, Without it, I certainly wouldn't be going to MIT next year. There was nowhere else that I could go and get the quality of education that I've received here um, and it still be a great deal financially. So I'm headed to MIT for graduate school uh, in their Department of Biological Engineering and I'm interested in pursuing cancer immunotherapy research. The fact that the research that I'm going to be doing in graduate school could theoretically be applied within my lifetime to treat patients um, with cancer, with diseases like my dad, and uh, that's probably one of the main driving forces for why I want to do that kind of research, and it's extremely fulfilling. <laughs>